This bug I like to refer to as brittle blood. In this code sample, we have a jQuery mobile list view simulating different email folders, like an inbox, sent, spam, etc. Inside each list item is a link to the folder and a count of how many items are in each folder. In our code, we delegate events to the document and listen for anchor clicks in the mailbox. Once we have a clicked anchor, we grab its parent, prevent the default behavior, and then add a highlight class to the element. Can you spot the bug? This one's a little tricky in that you can't necessarily spot the error at design time because the markup changes during runtime. You may or may not know this, but jQuery Mobile changes your markup quite a bit when it runs. So the markup we had before at design time gets expanded out to look something like this. Our anchor, which used to be an immediate child of the list item, now has two intermediate div wrappers around it with various classes to provide styling. What we wanted was to get access to the list item once an anchor was clicked, but that no longer happens because of all these extra elements that showed up in our DOM. And we all know what happens when you take a baby away from its mommy. It doesn't like that. And neither does your code if you ask for your parent, but wrappers have been inserted around it. Now your code's accessing one of those wrapper divs that jQuery Mobile inserted instead of the list item that you really wanted. Oh no. So how do we make our little crying baby happy again? Well, let's take a look at an alternative jQuery method that can help reunite the infant with its mommy. And that method is called closest. This method will traverse up the DOM looking for a particular ancestor that matches a selector. So in our case, instead of calling the parent method, we would call the closest method passing li as the selector, which says, find me the first ancestor that happens to be a list item. And the rest of the code is just the same as before. And this time we're adding the highlight method to the correct element. And as a result, we have reunited a baby with its mother. Here we have a simple jQuery mobile page. We have a mailbox list view here with example folders like inbox, outbox, etc. In our code, we're listening to anchor clicks underneath our mailbox list view. Once clicked, we'll grab the anchor's parent, prevent the default behavior, and then add a highlight class to the element. Our highlight class should make the item turn a brownish color. So let's run our code and see what happens. When we pull up the page, it looks pretty decent. jQuery Mobile is good like that. But when we click on an item, it turns blue instead of the brown we were looking for. jQuery Mobile already has functionality to make it look this color, but we want it to be different. So why isn't it? Let's take a look at the dev tools and see if anything stands out. Whoa, we can immediately see that there's something not good. It turns out that jQuery Mobile has inserted several DOM element wrappers around our content. In our design markup, our anchor was an immediate child to the list item. But here, there are two div wrappers around the anchor, which breaks our code because we are grabbing the anchor's direct parent to add the highlight class. And sure enough, we can see here that the highlight class is getting applied to its parent, which isn't the correct element. It should be on the list item instead. So let's go back to our code and fix the issue. What we want to do here is use a method that isn't so brittle like the parent method. Thankfully, there is such a method and it's called closest. We give closest a selector and it will first check itself to see if there's a match. And if not, it'll check its parent and then check that element's parent and so on until it finds something that's a match. That way we aren't so tied to the exact DOM structure and there's a little wiggle room for change. So by changing our parent method to closest, passing in li as our selector, it should fix our issue. So let's save and run our code again. And sure enough, when I click the list items, they turn brown. Yay!